Okay, so here we have our solutions for our year 11 first practice test, which is on atomic structure. So we'll start off with some multiple choice and let's have a look at these. First of all, which of the isotopes, which of these isotopes have the largest number of neutrons? Okay, neutrons is from the difference between atomic number and mass number. So I need to know the atomic number for these guys because the mass number is already there. I've got a periodic table. I can see that the carbon is six and the nitrogen is seven. So what is the difference between these? Well, this carbon has going to have six neutrons because the difference is six. This one's going to have eight. This guy's going to have, uh, what's the difference between that? Five. And this guy's going to have seven. So the one with the largest number of neutrons is going to be carbon 14 because the difference between the atomic number, which is found from the periodic table, and the mass number is the largest. Which of the following is not an excited electron configuration? So that means which one follows the right pattern of electron configuration filling. The most important thing to know, remember here, is that 4s2 is before 3d10, um, because otherwise it's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look. 1s2 is the first thing, so it's going to be all good. 2s2 is all good there. 2s, 2p6, that's all good there. Then I get to 3s2. Um, that should be fine. This one is only 3s1, so what that means is that this is excited because an electron must have jumped up to the P shell, so it's not going to be D. Then I get to these two here. This guy should be 3p6 before we get to the 4s, so that's excited. Um, and then I've got this guy here. Is it going from the 3p6 to the 4s2, or is it going from 3p6 to 3d2? Well, this one is excited because um, this is the actual correct filling um, system. Um, 4s2 comes before 3d10, so if you were to fill it up as the ground state, this is what you would have. So that makes sense. Moving on. Which of the following is incorrect about carbon atoms? Well, let's have a look. Carbon atoms have a larger atomic radium, that should be radius, than oxygen. That, let's have a look, this is our periodic table. Carbon sits here, oxygen is um, to the um, right of it. Um, goes carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. And you can see that as we move across, we have a decrease in atomic radius. So therefore, carbon should have a larger atomic radius. That's correct. All carbon atoms have the same atomic mass. That is incorrect because we have things called isotopes. So that's definitely incorrect. Carbon is more electronegative than silicon. Silicon sits below carbon on the periodic table. So therefore, you would expect carbon to be more electronegative because as you move down a group, electronegativity decreases. Carbon contains six protons. That's true as well because it's carbon six is our um, atomic number. Moving on to question four. An atom which contains 17 protons, 18 neutrons, and 18 electrons Notice the fact that we've got more electrons than protons. That makes it negatively charged, so it should be X negative. Um, we'll have a mass and charge corresponding to what? Well, the mass comes from the protons and neutrons, so we can rule out these two. And the charge, as I said, must be negative, so therefore it must be C. Which of the following atoms is located in the D block? D block, if I have my periodic table here, is here. And looking through it, sodium sits here on a periodic table. Sulfur sits over here. Fluorine sits up there. So it's going to be nickel. Nickel sits around about there. And that's just looking at my periodic table. In the test, you will have a periodic table. You don't need to remember this off by heart, but you definitely need to know where the blocks are. And D block is there. S block is there. P block is there. And down here, you've got F block. Moving on. Um, we've got this information here. Which of the following alternative below which of the alternatives below lists particles that are isotopes of the same elements? So isotopes have the same protons and different neutrons. So therefore, what we've got is W and X would be isotopes because they have the same protons, different neutrons. So, sorry, W and Z here, my apologies. So therefore, let's look at it. W and Z is correct. Which of the following statements about X, sorry, W, X, Y, and Z is true? W contains three full shells of electrons. I uh, need to be a bit more of an effort with this, but if I was to look at it, if I was to get a periodic table, um, if I have 17, that makes me sit in 
my, um, what's it called? My halogen. That means he wouldn't have a full shell on the outside because only noble gases or ions would have full shells. So that's not right. X has the same electron configuration as Y2. All right, so X has 18 electrons. Y2 negative, well, it's got 16 neutrons. I uh, shouldn't see it here. So X has 18 neutron, 18 electrons. Y has 16 electrons plus two, which also has 18. So that actually is true. Um, so X has the same electron configuration because of the charge and all that type of jazz. So all atoms are from the same element. That's not true. You can see that the atomic number changes, making it different. Um, and this one mustn't be true either. Which of the following atoms are chlorine? Alrighty, so chlorine has atomic number of 17. So if I look at this, atoms that are chlorine are W and Z, and there's no option for that, but it is W and Z. Okay. Um, lastly, define electronegativity, and from memory, I stuffed up this question and there is no right answer. So if we go with just E, we'll say the fact that electronegativity is the ability to gain electrons. So the ability to gain electrons, and this is a poor form on me for not having the correct answer there. But that's our multiple choice done and dusted. Let's look at our short answer next.